officially election day in Kansas and Missouri. Polls now open in Missouri and open in just 10 minutes in Kansas. Polls on both sides of the state line will close at 7 p.m. And each side of the state line has a key item on the ballot that a lot of people are watching, expected to send more voters to the polls than usual for a primary. So KSHP 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan is inside a polling location in Kansas City, Missouri. How are things going? Has it been busy so far? Have you seen that uptick in voters? Oh, we did. <laughs> Yeah, Lindsay, I would say a very steady stream so far of voters coming into this polling location, the Central Methodist, Central United Methodist Church. Looks like right now there's maybe one person in here voting, getting checked in. This polling place looks a lot like any other polling place. You walk right in, you get checked in here at the very beginning with those poll workers. They'll check your ID, give you your ballot, then you'll take that ballot down to one of the uh, areas at the far end where you have those kind of privacy uh, barriers around you so you can fill out your ballot and privacy then of course you'll return it to the uh, uh, tabulation machine and call it good we've seen people come in and out 10 minutes maybe seems to be about the amount of time you should allow for yourself before we got here though we had a chance to speak with the director of elections for the kansas city election board to get some advice on what you can do before you even show up to vote today we encourage our voters to actually go to our website. You could go ahead and you could download your sample ballot. You go ahead and pre-vote it and bring it as a guide to the polling place, which will speed up voting. And I did see one person doing that already this morning, had their sample ballot ready to go when they walked in here through the doors and help them guide them through their voting. Uh, this is a primary election, so when you come here, you'll talk, when you check in, you'll talk with those poll workers. They'll choose a particular ballot to fill out based on your party affiliation and go from there. So happy to report, so far so good in Kansas City, Missouri, about 45, 50 minutes into voting here on primary election day. Guys, back to you. All right, Charlie, thank you. Well, in Missouri, there's a lot of attention on the race for U.S. Senate. There are 21 GOP candidates running for this one seat. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens, and Representative Vicki Hartzler are some of the Republican heavyweights. Former President Donald Trump announced last night his endorsement for Eric, although he did not say which Eric, Eric Greitens or Eric Schmidt, that he endorsed. Both campaigns are claiming the endorsement as theirs. There are also 11 candidates running for Missouri Senate on the Democratic ticket. Candidates include Lucas Kuntz, Trudy Bush-Valentine, and Spencer Toter, along with several others.